These are the Canary Islands. The NATO is exercising. Every ship is equipped with high-powered sonars. They are exercising their hunt for submarines. Five hours later, the first whales are stranding. Ten hours later, it's over. The Navy still refuses to take their responsibility. But the whales are stranding everywhere where they're exercising. Greece, Bahamas, Azores, the list is endless. I cannot imagine a, a time when we would not have to make use of that sort of technology in, uh, in uh, hunting for submarines. Another way it's trends shortly after this press conference. The gas bubbles are clear indicators for an extreme form of the diving disease, normally never occurring with whales. The Navy promised not to use their sonars within 50 miles, but what happens outside this mitigation zone? Antonio Fernandez found various clear evidences in vital organs. But it's not only the gas emboli, it's also a fat emboli, which is a much more severe evidence of the diving disease. These bubbles in the brain vessels pluck the blood flow and the brain begins to die. At seven they were still alive and here they are already dead. Little has been known about these deep diving whales. They're very shy and stay only 10% of their time close to the surface. But what happens below? Scientists as Mark lock the diving data with computers. So for the first time they can follow them down to minus 5,000 feet. These are first impressions from the deep sea. 
and this is also the place where submarines are hiding. This is where the conflict starts. Through thermal layers, the sound is floating across hundreds of miles. Nothing can stop the sound to travel long distances. Not only between the islands, but across distances the size of Europe. The sound of the sea uncovers the reasons behind the mass strandings of whales. <laughs> 